So I suppose some of you have been wondering about how I could possibly escape the gravity of the multi-rotor project. And of course, from a creative standpoint, it's difficult to move on when you have had such a, a creative peak and also um, a sort of peak in getting feedback from a project, which is also rewarding and, and, and somewhat addictive, of course. Uh, but uh, I think uh, I'm onto something new, interesting today. Uh, while I was uh, browsing for inspiration, I came across the, uh, the uh, subject of burning steel wool and um, taking photos of the process. Um, uh, the idea is that you, you have a bundle of steel wool and you ignite it and you swing it around and you get a massive um, shower of, uh, of uh, sparks. And with a long exposure, uh, the photos really looks quite astonishing, like this. So, by igniting steel wool and um, forcing air through it, you can really create quite a firework-like display. Let me show you how it looks when you ignite a little bit of steel wool. So here I have a little piece with uh, it's, uh, the um, uh, quadruple O in the size, so it's uh, the finest mesh and it's uh, quite easy to set on fire. But the interesting things really starts to happen when you force air through uh, the steel wool, like this. So you can accelerate the uh, combustion quite rapidly by forcing air through it. Another great property of the steel wool is that you can actually ignite it with a um, small current. Uh, you simply take a battery and short out the uh, battery against the steel wool and it ignites. And again, by blowing air through it, you can accelerate the uh, combustion. So, uh, with that uh, knowledge, I wanted to, uh, to try and uh, launch the steel wool in a more traditional manner, uh, so it would look more like an ordinary firework. Uh, so I started out in the basement with uh, just the uh, blowgun uh, coupled to my compressor and uh, uh, a battery. Let's check that out. So that went pretty well, I think. Uh, you can you can prep a uh, tube with the steel wool in one end and uh, ignite it and pre-burn it with uh, the small pre-burner pump, and then you uh, eject it with a forceful blast of air. Uh, so now it's just a matter of making a system that can do this for you uh, in a proper sequence uh, so that you can have multiple uh, shots of the sparks in the air. So I started out with uh, trying to build the mechanism for uh, feeding pipes or tubes through uh, a launch system. And uh, that was actually easier than I anticipated. Uh, so the first test here is just with a servo tester that is set in the wiper mode. So it turns the servo uh, full left, full right, and just repeatedly do that. Uh, it's quite satisfying watching, actually. Have a look. Next step was to uh, build the, uh, the ignition and the uh, air blast wand. Uh, 
Uh, and that was also pretty straight, straightforward, and I mounted it in the uh, launch system. Uh, and all I needed now was a microcontroller to control the uh, launch sequence. Uh, since time is critical, I mean, if you left the pre-burner on for too long, you'll burn up the steel wool whilst it's still in the uh, ejection tube. So a microcontroller is very important or useful in this build. And I went with the microbit. Uh, it's an educational tool for kids, and it works great for this application. It has plenty of in and outs. Uh, I use three outputs, uh, two for servos and one for switching on and off the um, uh, air solenoid valve. I also, just for fun, use the uh, LED uh, display here to make a countdown timer. Uh, and this is how the uh, interface when programming this microbit looks like. And before we start the actual test shooting, I just want to show you a couple of close-up photos of the, uh, of the assembly. Uh, it looks really messy, but it's a first prototype, so you have to just you know, take it for what it is. And now, finally, let's, let's try it out. Uh, I will start with showing you a clip where the pre-burner pump is turned off. I just want to show you how important the pre-burner is. So the first couple of shots is uh, with the steel wool only ignited and then directly ejected with the air blast. Uh, and the following clips have the uh, uh, pre-burn pump turned on, of course. Uh, there will also be close-up uh, on the uh, pre-burning system. And uh, I have a slow motion clip as well. And of course, uh, outdoors at night. Enjoy.